because I won't be able to play music on this phone and video. So, all right, let's. So this is. Heads up, FYI, if y'all hear any music playing or if you download Shazam and click, once you download it, you click on it, whatever, sign up, whatever, and it'll give you the option. So technology, it lets you know when it's done. So, while I'm talking to you, I'll do this. So I got everything in there. Oh, I'm going to put this in there. So, upon downloading Shazam, it, um, you're able to... I don't have no space on this phone, so. How much more? Oh, I got 13 more gigs. Okay. For my Mac. So, I don't even know who that person is. But, if you download it, let me give you a look for what it looks like. So if you download it, and upon downloading it, I'll see if I can put it on this phone. Oh, it's allowing me to download. I go do a video, don't let me do a video. But, um, see, find any song in seconds. So, I'm going to put it to work now. Oh, I can't play that. So, this is what it looks like. So once you download it, I'm I, already, I guess I already got an account, whatever. But and then you can sense it. Shazam would like to access Apple Music, your music and video activity, and your media library to play full songs or add your Shazams to Apple Music. Sometimes I hear a song when I be playing in the morning, getting ready for church, and I have my, my, um, what you call it? I have my, um, Pandora. Who that? Oh, okay. All right. So I have my Pandora, and I'm playing a song I like. And then that I heard in a video, and I click on this. And it tells you the song in the album and all that stuff. And once you set it up to download it to your Apple Music, then you'll be able to put it in your playlists, like I did. Okay, so with that being said, let me go on to my music. Let me go on to my music. 